very good morning to all the students of class plus 1b yes beta determiners is mentioned in your syllabus so make sure though you have done it in junior classes when we are in plus 1 we start avoiding grammar and all but yes it it is there as a particular topic so before we start uh, what is determiners this is revision we have done i guess two months ago you might have forgotten it even so this is revision part okay uh, what is a determiner you can just you know very simple words you can say which announces the arrival of a noun fine that is known as determiner fine one thing or recognition of determiner is that which announces the arrival of noun if i say in very simple words there is a bag a word is a determiner so this is uh, also telling us that further there will be a noun which also fixes the noun is also known as determiner it has fixed it a bag means one bag like if i said there are two bags two is also a determiner fine one one of the categories it is telling us a number fine that two bags are there clear so in very simple words uh such words are called determiners or fixing words as they fix the nouns that follow them clear so always remember determiner announces the arrival of a noun as well as it fixes them as well two things you have to remember please keep on noting down side by side according to your convenience okay which announces the arrival of noun and which fixes the noun as well or the quantity of noun you can say that makes it a determiner clear now there are various categories of uh determiners first and foremost category is articles clear second category is demonstratives third category is possessive and so on then there is numerals i will define each and every uh, category please just keep on noting down then we have numerals and uh, lastly we have distributive so these are the categories of determinants fine 1 2 3 4 5 we are going to do these five only fine now articles are a and the clear so these are the three articles we have in english language these three are considered as articles fine i already told you those who have joined now for them i am repeating what is a determiner that fixes the noun as well as which announces the arrival of a noun which determines the noun that is a determiner so if i say a bag a bottle an umbrella an orange the sun the ganges so it is fixing it as well as it is telling us the arrival of the noun as well fine so we are getting to know the quantity of the noun as well fine or whether the noun is particular or not clear now just i i want to be giving you notes for this you are not in class first and second this topic starts from class first onwards i guess or second onwards you just now listen to it and whatever you feel like to note down you note down whenever we will be using singulars consonant singulars fine there are 26 letters in english a to z fine there are five vowels and 21 consonants which are the vowels who will tell me yes harmanjot correct a e i o u these are the five vowels so we have to see the sound of the word not the that letter if sound is a e i o u and that is singular noun then we will be using an fine single hona chahiye aur awaaz a e i o u mein se kisi ki honi chahiye fine umbrella 
um on a sound then we will use an umbrella find an island so uh, if consonant sound will be there bag bottle knife then we will be using a but when you know this article the what is the purpose of using the it particularize that noun so with the natural things like sun the sun the moon the ganga the ganges the himalayas we use this fine so it particularize that particular thing and the is also used with the those nouns which have already been used in the same sentence there was a tree the tree was full of this fruit there is a tree in first line the tree was full of apples in the second line when we are using the word noun that tree again then we have to make it make sure that we are particularizing it that wo wala tree jiski baat ho chuki hai pehle then we will use the again is it clear fine now three articles i discussed with you fine i'm not going to make you write sentences because my purpose is you should understand what are determiners recognize and how to use them because in your exams and in class we are not going to do this you know one line uh, fill in the blanks you will be getting a passage fill in the gaps or in editing or in omission if you know the purpose you will be able to do it okay so this now demonstratives its name is suggesting in itself when i'm demonstrating when i'm showing something to you right i say this that bag fine because it is at a distance this book when thing is near to me i will be using this these fine when things are far away then i will be using that or those these four are demonstratives very easy demonstrate means to show those charts in the classroom dur hai na zyada bhi hai fine that that rank board fine those tube lights got my point for the near thing yes jacqueline what do we use for near for near this and these if singular then this if plural then these zyada cheeze hai to these this book these books i have two books here fine these books near ke liye this and these you should write here for near objects which are far away that and those okay very easy it is then we have possessive third category of determiners now what do you mean by possessive it it announces the possession of something my bag her bag his mobile their worksheets find their assignments our house so those words which denote the possession of something they are called possessives find so the words please note down the list of determiners uh, in this category possessive ones my our your their his her etc right so this is the third category of determiners which shows the possession of something okay online children are you noting down each and everything respond accordingly yes because these are going to help you a lot in spoken english and writing skills in grammar so grammar doesn't mean only for fetching marks for grammar you will get for five marks fine but the our purpose is our true learning fine the next one is numerals now what are numerals like uh they are also of two category numerals are of two category definite numerals and indefinite numerals why numerals are of two categories definite and indefinite definite means numerals you know numbers i have two books i am telling you the number two books that is definite ki i have two i have some books 
how many you don't know fine so some word is denoting that this is indefinite numeral okay clear so definite numerals these indicates a definite number indefinite numerals they used you know uh, generally used in affirmative sentences okay they do not denote a number particular number will be there fine these will be definite now what is the example of definite is 1 2 3 etc indefinite some few many but exactly how many that we don't know clear the last category is after this we will do beta one exercise or two exercises of a uh, gap filling based on determinants okay you will give the answers of that next category is distributive in which what are the distributive like each every very confusing they become when we use them either neither either or either neither that set also so these are considered distributive determiners or numerals as well when we talk about two or more persons up to two fine when we know then we use each each one of you have to submit your notebook i'm talking about two or more than two approximately fine so in case uh there are more than two persons or things up to two each more than two persons or things <coughs> everyone stand up fine right? more than that then i will be using every you should know this up to two each and more than that every okay it can be more than two as well but less in number every is like for more than that clear in that way we will be using either uh, is used when there is choice either of you two students are sitting here i say either of you bring your notebook means koi bhi aap mein se ek aa jaye fine neither of you will go out of the class in the recess this is your punishment means koi bhi nahi jayega fine in that way these either and neither are used clear is that clear online children please make sure that now we will be doing exercises of determiners fine let's do shall please write down fill in the blanks with correct determiner write down the heading fill in the blanks with correct determiner now one passage is there gap filling we are going to do with determiners i saw a dash answers will be given by you beta lady in b dash overcoat that was black in color good stop she appeared to be new to 
C dash. City, full stop. Please note down. When she asked me for directions, when she asked me for directions, I obliged. Full stop. D dash. Relatives lived in E dash. West part of F dash city. So this passage will be having different kinds of determiners. For A, option is an, a, the, whom. An, a, the, whom. For B part, that, a, and which all are determiners. Third C ke liye the a uh, and that. You can change your seat, Jacqueline, if it is not visible. Shift to Sakya Buddha. For D part. The, her, his, your. The, his, her, yours. Yours, ne your. Okay. And a, the, than. And a, than, the. F ke liye the and a uh, that. A uh, that. Okay. So you have to do this and you have to give me the answers. You can raise your hand or you can type in the chat box. I will announce your names. You also both of you think and solve within few minutes. Yes, Peter. And for yesterday's test, only six or seven students have sent me note making. Rest of you, uh, I think so. Aapko sab kuch aata hi hai, hai na? I told you that when you perform any of the test and your mistakes will guide you that which is correct. There are students who are so good in English, but even then they committed mistakes. And they, when they got their test back, they can uh, perform better in exams. So I'm giving you another chance. Those who forgot to take test or whatever is the reason, please send that note making you have to perform. Okay, the students who are left, kindly send me. Only clicks you have to send. No need to make video. Shall we start giving the answers? Yes, Harman Jod, first answer. Yes, I saw a lady is correct answer. Yes, Jacqueline, second. And over code, correct. Yes, Anjali, third. I'm the. Yes, the is the correct answer. 
new to the city next one mitali हाँ जी आंसर इज हर रिलेटिव हर रिलेटिव हर रिलेटिव फाइन हर रिलेटिव इज करेक्ट आंसर इन यस सरमन यस द वेस्ट पार्ट बिकॉज पर्टिकुलरली वेस्ट बोला गया अगेन सिटी है तो द सिटी Clear? This is very easy one. Very easy. There is no need to think. We ki ha kya aega at very easy level because we have done uh, just completed. So that's why I give you very simple one. So we will do one more exercise. So whether you want to do the sink or rearrangement, a practice kar lete hai na. That is better. This may brainstorming bhi hota hai thoda. So determiners we have done. Yesterday we did rearrangement. but only one exercise we could do because of the time let's do one more rearrangement exercise okay chaliye that leads to your practice as well and in that you have to think so we will do rearrangement in this beta try to find out where is the subject that is to be written in the beginning verb to be written in the center and upon which the action is committed that is object that is to be written at last so we will be doing rearrange the words or phrases i let me give you thodi difficult one so that you solve it in italy held a medical conference was alexander fleming but tomorrow we will do browning version okay the way you have asked me ki you want revision of that again so tomorrow we will revise or today also we can do we have two periods today today is friday we have two periods of english in the next period we can do browning version alexander fleming to honor if you can solve side by side do it or at and you want to do that's your choice in scotland born in alexander fleming was the year 1881 studied fleming hospital at st mary's for graduation last one we solve it beta 1928 in september of culture plates
फ्लैमिंग examining was इसमें दो तो बहुत इजी है दो में आपको प्रॉब्लम आएगा वन मॉर्निंग अ बैच यस विजिबल है बेटा मेडिकल यस वंश करेक्ट आंसर वंश हेज गिवन दी आंसर ऑफ फर्स्ट सेंटेंस अ मेडिकल कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज हेल्ड इन इटली टू ऑनर एलेक्सेंडर फ्लैमिंग करेक्ट आंसर वंश अ मेडिकल कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज हेल्ड इन इटली टू ऑनर Alexander Fleming. Second one, please chat. Uh, type in the chat box. Have you done any? Uh, both of you can also give one. Yes, Jacqueline. Yes, second one is also quite easy. Jacqueline ne answer de diya. Alexander Fleming was born in the year eighteen eighty one in Scotland. no prepositional phrase na try to write it yes correct answer was born in scotland in year year to be written at the end next one who will solve let's see if solved it yes beta please speak Yes, Jacqueline has given the answer in the class as well as Gursimran has given correct answer uh, online in the chat box. Fleming studied at uh, Saint Mary's Hospital for graduation. Fleming studied at Saint Mary's Hospital for graduation. Last one who will give the answer of this thing? Let's see who will crack the fourth one. Here you need to think a bit. Be quick. No. Dubara se. Anybody who has done this, write in the chat box. Ishnoor has given the answer. One morning, Fleming was examining a batch of culture plates in September nineteen twenty eight. Harman has also given the same. He will have me. Okay, that can also be considered two answers are there. One morning in September. 1928 Fleming was examining a batch of culture plates ye bhi theek hai one morning adavesh noor has given that is also correct one morning fleming was examining a batch of culture plates in september 1928 okay beta have a nice day and do send the test of note making today positively